Let's get right to it. Let's not mess around, no introductions. I'm at Power by the Hour. I'm getting the rear end swapped over. Donnie Renfro, stock 5.0. Got my axles out, cleaning out the rear end, and we're about to take out the 331s for a set of 410s. Why? Because I have a T56 and the gear ratio is just not working out. I need to be in fourth gear through the traps at about 6,000 RPMs, and these 331s are not gonna cut it. So Donnie's about to take it all out. We'll go through the process of what it takes to Swap over the rear gears. Maybe you guys can find some tips and tricks. Talk to Donnie, check out his sweet hair. Look at that part. <laughs> Shit's on fleek. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Keep what? those. Keep those in order? Yeah. With the cap and everything? Yep. Do you mark up and down or just left, right? I just usually mark left, right. 331's coming out. 331. I'll hold it up so it don't fall off. <laughs> You need to do anything or just sit here yeah. look pretty? Oh man, you're putting a fucking pry bar on gears, man. Oh. Yeah, they're fucked. Fuck. Shit. You know what you're doing. You know there's a tool for that? <laughs> yeah, I just used it. There she is. Check it out for stress fractures because I will be reusing this guy. I probably should go with a spool or with an Eaton True Track or something like that, but I'm going to be as budget as possible. So, why am I doing this? The goal is to go nines uh, on this side. Go ahead. You mean you don't know the words to this song? No, I don't. Oh my god. This is uh fuck. It's not Quavo, it's the other douchebag. I think it is a group, but I don't know the name of the group. It's the same people that saying raindrop, drop top. Uh plug it on your bitch, she's a tot tot. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, how's it look there, bud? Very much alright. So this is this came out of a GT five hundred. Um non performance package GT five hundred, right? Right. So this is what comes in on GT500 guys, it's rear end, it was just swapped right in, it direct swap, there's nothing special about it, there's, you know, it's S197 rear ends are all S197 rear end, so there's nothing special about, so when you guys say, oh, the GT500 is a better rear end, same shit as a GT, shut the fuck up. Uh, fuck all that, dude, we're just gonna go fucking. Yeah. Well, we're probably gonna, I'll save the bearings for when we do the spool. Yeah, if it gets to that if point, because if it runs a nine without a spool, I'm done, I'm done, I'm gonna pack it in, Sell it, send it. So, that <laughs> <laughs> the, the magic's in the editing. Again, why am I doing this? T56 has a totally different gear. on the phone <laughs> so in case you guys wondered what anti-roll bar I have I have the you can stay you can be on camera don't worry about it uh, UPR anti-roll bar I have a UPR uh, pan hard bar which I'm gonna put in so basically you know weld this guy in I'll show you guys once it's all assembled still have the UPR upper UPR lowers UPR relocation brackets not cracked see they're not cracked <laughs> stock shocks for now because the Vikings took a shit so I'm gonna send the Vikings to get rebuilt I have Ford racing rear springs a lot of people ask my suspension setup and I never tell them and the front springs dude bone stock I'm saying bone fucking stock springs obviously I have the Willwoods so you can see the silliness but I have bone stock springs up front I cut a coil and the rears are Ford racing and that's all I need ideally I would like to have 
a set of um, Eibach Pro Kits. Those are my favorite, but balling on a budget right here. So with the magic of editing, the 410s are in. Because I don't want to take you through the process. Hey, look, man, there's 10 different ways of putting it together. I don't care. Let's just get some 410s in this bitch and see what happens. Donnie used the uh, installation tool, and uh, it did the job. So now we're buttoning it up, and uh, I'll show you the difference. Because remember, I used to go 65 miles an hour in first gear. So now I'm going to make sure the tune shows that it has 410s, and we'll see what the speed difference is and how quicker it can accelerate. Okay, so initially the, what would you call it? Not preload, what would you call it? It's the backlash. The backlash was 13 thousandths. The spec calls for eight to 10. So Donnie is reshimming it and there's the custom install tool. Hit it with the metal end, it goes in. <laughs> and we're aiming for eight to 10 or seven to nine. <laughs> we're aiming for 10. <laughs> I'm telling you, you use the metal part, fucking mint. Use the metal part and fucking crack the shins <laughs> every time. So the goal, remember guys, the goal with this car is to go nines stick. I'm not overbuilding it. I know this fucker could blow up in the line with the stock diff, but I'm gonna try to get away with it because all I need is one nine second pass. I'm a happy customer. Um, when the axles break, <laughs> when the diff breaks, if I don't get my nine yet, then we'll build the rear end, weld the axle tubes, all that stuff. For now, trying to get away on the cheap ball on a budget, like Donnie says. Right, Donnie? You say that shit all the time. That's right. Unless somebody wants to, uh, you know, send a spool instead of axles, I'll be glad to put them in. <laughs> like, you know, someone like uh, Mosier, yeah. something like that. Strange. Thirty. Mosier. Yeah, Mosier. Fuck Strange. Uh... <laughs> so these are normally the shims that you get in the rear end kits, the gear kits, something similar to this labeled and uh, you can see there's different thicknesses some are paper thin okay this is what Ford uses and this is what will probably be in your rear end unless you've taken it apart so there's all different thicknesses we've got a chart here so it works a lot easier using one shim the right size instead, instead of, of trying stacking to them all together stack all these in there and fish them and get them in and they like to bend and get I caught see. up so yep Anyway, so where did we end here. up? We started at what? Uh, we started at about 12 to 13. And, and the spec is 8 to 10? 8 to 12 is the eight spec. 8 to 12? Oh, you're right at 10. So we're right around 10, so I'm happy with that. We'll cool. go ahead and put the axles in it and get it back together, and then they'll fuck you up in my <laughs> 6 r <R80> <laughs> Okay, so the 410s have been installed, and the car feels like a car again. No more do I go 65 miles an hour in first gear. Now it's a normal gear, gear split and I'll show you the difference. All right, this is first gear. First gear. So I could go maybe about 40. So I'm gonna put it to the wood up here and see how fast I can go in first gear. But before I could go well <clears throat> north of 60 mile an hour in first gear. Second gear I could almost go 100. It was borderline ridiculous. Now. It seems to be more of a conventional gear split, similar to an MT82 with, say, 331s. So a 266 first gear T56 with 410s feels like a MT82 with 331s. Pull off here, let these two guys go by, do a first gear romp, take traction control off. <laughs> the process. in fourth gear at about 6,500 to about 6,800 RPM with a 28 inch tall tire, depending on how it grows. I say the swap is a success. Time to get some track times. Hopefully get this bitch in the nines. See what happens.